I always love it when games surprise me out of nowhere in terms of enjoying them. And Get a Grip Chip is one of those games. We were looking at it during one of our indie spotlights, and I was enjoying it so much that I felt like I needed to create a separate video for it. This is a platformer, or I guess this would be a grappler former, <laughs> where we star as Chip here, who is a robot in a factory that is running into trouble, and after a mishap, he needs to go throughout this factory, rescue his friends in those boxes, and stop a malfunctioning robot. So, the chief mechanic, or the prime mechanic of this game is our little grappling, or I guess that's a magnet on his head, that allows us to move from point to point. We can grab something, and then launch ourselves in the direction that we choose. Now, you cannot jump at all in this game, you can only go by the grappling. The objective in each stage is to find all the robots as you can see, and make it through of course without dying, and the game tracks you in terms of how quickly you get through it, and how many deaths that you had. Eat beat every level in a world, or beat enough levels to unlock the final chapter, and then once you beat that you move on to kind of Act, or act 2, Act 3, and so on. And what I really liked about this game, and why I wanted to make this video, is that this is just an all-around, really solid example of game design. It's not overly difficult, but it explores the space really well in terms of its primary mechanic. And as you're watching this footage right now, you can kind of see by it that I'm not really having a lot of trouble. You know, other than walking to a drone, which is my fault there, in terms of controlling this character. The mechanics are set up to accommodate, again, a very wide audience of platformer fans. There's always multiple paths forward, and the game really reminds me of kind of some like the higher quality stuff we see from Nintendo, in having the space be for both core, or for casual core and hardcore players. Finding Every kind of robot friend in a level is going to be a challenge to how they're set up and just finding, you know, hidden walls or hidden sections. But it's also optional for the most part. And I really enjoyed this game. I was not expecting to enjoy it that much. But this is a great example of finding a mechanic and just getting as much out of it as you can. Now, with that said, in terms of the gameplay, I don't have any real complaints of it. Again, this is set up for, I would say, casual to moderate level platformer fans. While you can die, you do have infinite lives, and I doubt this game is going to go Super Meat Boy <laughs> levels of difficulty. But the mechanics are definitely there to allow it to be approached from different avenues. As you can see with me sometimes barely making it through or just going full on speedrun. And there really isn't a lot for me to say in terms of problems, but we're going to take a quick break here and when we come back, I want to, I guess, rant a few more minutes about how well designed this game is. And now for a quick shout out to our current Game Wisdom supporters and sponsors. Going forward, all Patreon supporters will get early access to our videos. And if you'd like to continue this discussion on game design, be sure to check out our Discord channel, link down below. If you're looking for more wisdom about game design, be sure to check out my latest offering of books, 20 Essential Games to Study, aimed for first-time developers and students looking for some inspiration for their upcoming games, and Game Design Deep Dive Platformers if you're interested in anything regarding 2D and 3D platforming design. They're both available in print, digital, and wherever books are being sold. Get a Grip Chip is a really solid example of platforming design. This isn't the most complicated game on the market, nor the most difficult, but it's a really good example of something that I talked about in my book on platformers. That it's a game that explores as much of the space with these mechanics as one could possibly do. It's not too hard. 
but it's not going to be too easy either, and the base way through the game is going to be simple enough for most players to accomplish. And what they do, of course, similar to something like Nintendo or Ubisoft, is hide kind of the advanced challenges through collecting the bonus drones and trying to get through levels with a perfect. And like I said, this is just a kind of a very surprising game. And I found it very charming as somebody who's played so many platformers, especially this year, that it just does what it's set out to do incredibly well. If you're a fan of platformers and you're looking for something kind of as a good rainy day game or something that's not going to be too taxing on you, I would say give this one a check. And I do hope we see more from developers. I'm curious to see like how long they spent kind of developing this game and if it did change in terms of how hard or easy they wanted to be in the first place. But all in all, this is one of those games that I was pleasantly surprised after we play in terms of the quality on display here. And hopefully we'll see more from these developers, and if you want to see more of the game on stream, let me know in the comments. As always, I would like to thank the developers for giving me a press key to check this one out. If you'd like me to play your game in the future, please don't hesitate to get in touch come back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom where is in the art and science of games this has been get a grip chip and i will see you all next time till then take care thanks for watching the video if you enjoy things be sure to do all the liking and subscribing that the kids are doing these days check out our discord channel link down below where we hang out and chat game design and come back later tonight for our regular streamings but that's it and tune in for more great content here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games.